Hey, what is up guys? It's me Sean here and you're watching Jobs Advisor channel. In this video, we are going to talk about this position. I'm going to give you all the information which you are seeing on your screen. Okay. These are the 10 points. We're going to talk about position, description, salary, accommodation, transportation, food, life at airport, promotion chances, internal jobs, life and the benefits. All of these things will be mentioning in this video and just stick with this video and watch the video from start to end and I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to give you all the details. All right. So the position is electrical engineer. Trust me. I'm going to give you a very small message in Hindi. If you are an electrical engineer, ho, trust me, this is a good position, this is a good company. Aap don't chate, okay? So if you are an electrical engineer, trust me, you have to apply for this position. And the last date is 01-06-2023. Only five days are left. And if you're watching this video, you should apply. And don't worry, I'm going to make more posts and more videos like this one. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. So as an electrical engineer, you will be responsible for helping their uh, ambitions like uh, they want to uh, fix some issues in electrical systems. They are uh, like uh, doing some maintenance with the 415 uh, slash 230 volt power network, including low voltage equipment, backup power system, okay, substation equipment and associated system to provide reliable and continuous power supply to the airport facilities. So coordinating, planning, managing, responsible, performing, this type of like the, the grade is like almost sixth. Okay, the sixth grade will be uh, for this position. And if there is no six, but five, five grade is must for this position. But uh, I am pretty much sure that it should be six because of the qualification, and all the things. So qualification will be like uh, college and university qualification and bachelor's degree. Okay, these are the description I'm right, uh, reading to you now. Minimum seven years experience. Okay, and then then electrical engineer role covering positions, maintenance of all electrical systems. So troubleshooting of all electrical systems. These are the things which I have read, like uh, mentioned in this video. Okay, so I'm trying to say everything is in front of you. You need to read all the qualification about the role. You need to read all the details are here. Okay, the position will be in the Hamada International Airport. This is the department. This is the location. Okay, if you are in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, America, England, UK, wherever you are, you can apply for this position. There is no restriction, and the department is engineering, electrical engineer. So the uh, the code for this application is two three double zero double zero eight P. Closing date is zero one zero six, and twenty twenty three. So what you will get from this position? Okay, so let, let me give you the idea. Number one point I have clear about the position and title and then description is done. Now come back to the salary. Okay. I'm not showing you my face because I'm not in the good condition. That's why. So um, regarding this salary, you will get almost almost not minimum, but more than 10,000 Katri Dial a month. Okay. If it is the grade six, more than 10,000, not less than 10,000. So if it is a five grade, then you will get around 8,000 to 9,000 Katri Dial a month. Now let's talk about number four point accommodation. Accommodation is like they will give you the option to live in the company accommodation or they will ask you to stay in the company accommodation Okay, or you can live by yourself If you don't know how to find the cheap accommodation, you can watch my video from on my uh, jobs advisor YouTube channel There is a video I have made you can just uh, type uh, cheap accommodation by jobs advisor on YouTube You will find the, my video. Okay in that video that the video is very long I think uh, maybe uh, half an hour maybe 20 minutes. I think so I just forgot. I have mentioned everything like airport locations, all the Almatina Street, etc. and all those uh, old airport area and near to the airport, everything is there. Regarding the accommodation, more questions like, can I move to another location? Yes, you can move. Okay, if you, if you are female, if you are female, you cannot move from company accommodation. They will keep you in the company accommodation and they will uh, ask you to stay in the company accommodation. There is complete restriction about uh, the females. They cannot move or they cannot transform themselves to the new location. Okay. Let's talk about the transportation. In the transportation, you can ask to ask the company that I want to use my own transportation. It's completely possible. For the female, I'm talking about for the female. And they need to ask if they want to change. You have to give the reason. Otherwise, no option. Like if you want to use your own vehicle, then you can ask them and they will allow you. Definitely they will allow you. It's not like they will reject you. No, no, 100% they will allow you because you want to use your own vehicle, okay? But you need to make sure that you are following all the rules by the company, uh, okay? And then for the male, they are getting their transportation money in their bank accounts. So they, do know, they don't need to worry about this uh, type of situation. Let's talk about the food. They will provide you the food at the airport. If you're working at the airport, they will provide you. Definitely the location is at the airport. So they will provide you one time food at the airport and you can live with that. And then you can come back, cook your own food or you can order by yourself online or whatever you like it. Okay. And then the number seven point is the life at airport. Now the life at airport is uh, it's like completely different for those people who are working uh, at the airport facing the all passengers at front end 
and there is a back end okay so uh, if you are going to work at the airport like in there is a head office at the airport okay small head offices like that if you are going to work in a maintenance department in engineering department you will not enter at the inside the airport like there is a customer section so there if they if there is any electricity problem maintenance problem they will ask you your manager will send you there and then there you will have your uh, schedule you will have your roster okay where you need to work what you have to do what you are going to do okay they will ask you to do everything at the airport you will have your own pass you will have your health card you will have your all the permissions you can go to the airport you can use all the things okay you can go to any shop and get those things uh, with 50% discount 20% discount depending on the shop depending on the company's requirement but if you're working in QDF you will get 50% otherwise you will get 20% all right then uh, about the uh, promotion chances uh, promotion chances number eight point is promotion chances you will be promoted to the next level if you are doing absolutely great for next two to three years all right you are already working on six or five grade then definitely they don't allow uh, any uh, uh, like lower nationality you can say um, Pakistani Bangladeshi Indians or any other nationality yes I know there are so many people working there but they always consider American citizen even if you are from Pakistan Bangladesh India even if you are from any country they their first priority is like they, they the person should be from America uh, UK or from somewhere like you have some European you uh, what do you say citizenship okay then definitely they will allow you and then they will keep you on seven grade eight grades easily but for those people who are from uh, India Pakistan and uh, then uh, Sri Lanka they don't allow easily but I know there are there are, there are so many people working there okay I'm not denying this uh, thing anyway Kerala and the Sri Lanka people are the most successful one okay and I'm really happy for those people and they are really hardworking and they deserve it and uh, regarding the um, again I'm gonna say promotion depending on your position depending on your uh, environment depending on your duties and everything they have given to you if you're following all the rules you're doing your duty absolutely great they will allow you to go back okay if you're not doing well but if you're doing well they will ask you to come forward and do the next job which is on the seventh grade or sixth grade or eighth grade okay you cannot jump from one grade to another grade like if you're working on one grade and you want to jump on three grade no it's not possible now let's talk about the number nine point internal jobs life so internal jobs life like is that uh, i mean if if you want to apply for any job okay let's suppose after one year you can apply for any job okay there is a rule uh, when you join the company you need to spend one year before you apply for any internal job after spending the one year you should you shouldn't apply for any job as per my recommendations if you want to apply you need to wait at least two years wait two years then you can apply for the next role and for the for these type of position trust me for these type of position you should not apply to any other job unless you spend already two years there or three years there then you can go to the next level like senior electrical engineer or maybe you will be line manager for electrical engineer or maybe you will be like something you know the vice president i have no idea depending on your qualification and everything okay and for the internal jobs you can apply but you need noc no objection certificate or letter from the company that you're okay your line manager is happy with you and you want to apply you have the permissions everything is there then you can apply okay number 10 benefits you have your benefits you can ask anybody for like if you're on the grade 5 grade 6 you have a luxury life okay especially on grade 6 so on grade 5 and grade 6 above grade 5 and grade 6 you can call your wife you can call your spouse okay you can you can ask your husband to come you can ask your wife to come you can you can sponsor your wife or husband okay you can sponsor your family okay and especially in grade six on grade five i i think uh, sponsoring your wife or husband is more than enough if you have two kids one kid it's enough but i will not recommend you to call someone because on the grade five you'll get around eight thousand and there are very exp expensive things that are there okay you will spend a lot of money and you will not save a single penny that's why it's it's not good practice so only call those people if you are willing to uh, support yourself then you should not call anyone except for your single person like your wife if you're like newly married uh, couple then it's okay hmm. oh, okay sorry and then the benefits and the benefits are like everything is included ticket is there 50 percent discount is there id 90 is there id 50 is there so if you're working in a direct department in the main department which is the qr it's not the qr it's the Hamad International Airport. This is the department. Always remember this, okay? So anyway, all these points are in front of you guys. And uh, if I miss anything, just let me know. And uh, sorry for the boring video because I cannot show you anything because I'm not uh, looking uh, to you or you're not looking at me. Anyway, so love you all and thanks for your time. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this, okay? If you will support me, definitely if you like this video, then I will make only more videos, definitely, because it gives me more encouragement and also the motivation to make more videos. So love you all and take care. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.